Hello, I'm Rod Sampson, the US agent for Brunton's Propellers. In this video, we're going to start to rebuild the Autoprop H6 propeller. So the last time we saw this propeller, it was bright blue covered with um, ablative bottom paint. Um, I've spent the best part of uh, a day uh, scrubbing it down and letting it clean. Um, I think by the end of it I could have auditioned for the Blue Man Group. But um, anyway, we, uh, we tried several different methods to get the ablative off. Um, um, some more successful than others. Um, grip blasting with a little bead blaster is probably the best way to do it outside. Uh, we had a little go with that. Uh, we had a, a wire brush on a, on, a, on a rotary grinder. That worked very, very well. And then we also um, used um, 180 grit, 200 grit sandpaper, um, and that was the uh, quite intensive. Well, that one worked very well. The actual, the best one we had was with 100 grit on a orbital sander, one of the little mini ones that you get. We just buffed the blade very, very nicely. It brought it up, left it with like a matte finish, and then once we once we had the the blade and all the uh, the hub done, um, I put it under the. Uh, we have a bench grinder. We put a, a rotary. Um, a wire wheel on it and that just buffed it up beautifully um, and that's what where we ended up now as you can see when you get to this stage you can see all the little dings and dents and the life that the propellers had and this one for example I can see at some point in its past it's not uh, as bad as it looks uh, it's had I think see that on the camera it's had uh, the zinc hasn't been maintained so you've had a little bit of um, uh, cathodic uh, corrosion um, and it's taken off, you can see little pink spots. Um, it's a long time ago, they're very, very smooth and have been sanded down. Um, when I took the blue paint off, there was a, there's a bottom coat, like a, um, a tie coat, um, and then they had this top ablative coat on, so it's quite a thick layer of paint. And it's obviously been done to protect it, and it's done a, it's done a fantastic job. It's in, uh, it's in really great shape, the bronze around here, there's no dings, there's no cracks or corrosion or anything, so it's a, a prime candidate for rebuild. You tend to find with the H6 propellers that uh, because you can swap out the bearing races um, and you can fit completely new tracks, um, there's never really a problem. You can always keep them going pretty much forever, provided you keep up the zincs, and this is a good example of doing so. So before we start rebuilding, um, the first thing to do is get it degreased. You can see from the hub, uh, the hub spin is, is beautiful now. So each of the faces um, is nicely done. I've got some of the, um, the old Loctite to get out from the center um, before we get round to that. But the first thing you need to do prior to uh, putting it all back together is one little last step we need to do. Um, and that is the grease, grease ports. Now on, I think you see that on the camera. This little one here, there's also one on the dome, I, I buffed up the domes as well. So this one here, uh, you can see it goes all the way through, uh, just in the centre. And then basically what we need to do is just to get the rest of the grease out from this little one here. And on the inside, there's a tiny little hole on the inside. And the best way to do this, all we have to do is uh, just with a Q-tip and you just gently roll it round and you'll see it all starts to, if there's any grease left inside, will start to push through. There it goes. And it gets get all the way through. Make sure you not to leave the cotton in. Then you can see the grease comes out. Kind of gross, but there we go. And we'll just make sure. And what I like to do as well, if I've got it handy, just a little cocktail stick just to check on the inside. Make sure there's nothing left in. Yeah, it's nice and clean. We'll just push that one more through to make sure it's nice and clear. Obviously you, make, you want to make sure you don't leave any of the, uh, the cotton bud inside. And that's it. So there's that one done. Okay, so the grease pot's now clear. We need to make sure that all where the bearing seats sit inside, where the thrust bearings are clear, and also on the back where the tracks sit are also clear. Now the next step, I've got to do the other two blades. And once we've done the other two blades, the next step um, is to put on the lip seal. 
Now the lip seal, you can see there's, there's a thick fat edge that goes to the back and a sharp pointy edge that goes to the front. Now the best way to do this is to have a piece of bar um, and what you're basically going to do is you push the lip seal into the blade as hard as you can do it. Just nice and easy, just working it round. It'll, it'll sit so far in. And I'm just going to work it. And work it. And pop it up there. It's kind of like putting a bicycle tyre back on. Because I'm struggling to do this because I'm doing it backwards, but this seems to be getting there. Okay. okay, and then the next thing to do, what you want to do, obviously it's difficult for me here because I don't have a, try to show too much, the next thing to do is take the flat bar and you just rotate it round, now this is best clamped in a vise, I'm just going to rotate it round, and just work it into the groove. Nearly there. Just one last bit on that side. Okay, how do we do? And that's seated all the way around. If you can see that on the camera, it's sitting nicely in, nice and tight, and sitting in the channel. So that's that first one done, and next I'm going to go through and repeat it for all the other two. I'm going to clean the grease ports and push in the lip seal. And then once we've done that, I guess we can do this one as well. On the cap, there's a little o-ring that comes in the kit. Let's see that. There we go, there's a little o-ring, just like that. And this one here is just going to slide over the cap. And this is to keep out, just roll it over, just snap into place, there you go, make sure it's seated nice and good, just push it around again, just checking it's not nipping too tight. And that should be it, again, you can see that on camera, it's nice and in. What I tend to do is just put a little bit of grease around just to help it. Um, just working cavitation tunnels and stuff like that. It just, just seems to help and make it all a bit happier when it all nips up. And that's it. So we put the lip seal on, we've cleaned out the grease port, and we've put the o-ring on that's going to be the cap to keep all the grease in. So we've taken care of the, uh, the grease portion of the uh, propeller uh, for each blade. In the next video, we're going to start and put the bearing tracks on and then we're going to start getting to building up the blades.